Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's LeJune here. Now we back at it with some Suicide Squad. Now today we have a lot of information to talk about today when it comes to the FAQ page that dropped yesterday. Now there's some good and bad news, so we're going to be talking about it all. So let's get into it. If you want to check out the FAQ page for Suicide Squad, I will have it in the comment section below pinned. So if you want to check that out, you can. But I did pick the ones that are the most interesting and the one that will pique your interest the most. Just to give you a little bit of a tease, crossplay will be in the mix. So be looking forward to that one. So let's get into it. So this is for the solo players. You can play this entire game solo throughout the whole story and you there will be no missions that will force co-op on you and you'll be given ai companions to tag along with you throughout the story so that's pretty cool i like the fact that they went with that and the next thing we have is swapping characters now this could be done while you outside of a mission they didn't go into detail what they mean outside of a mission i'm not sure if they mean a the main menu or you're literally outside of a mission but if i had to guess you probably have to be in the main menu to swap characters which is understandable now this next thing i'm going to be talking about is very controversial i really don't like this decision that they made with this one so you're going to need an internet connection to play suicide squad solo and of course co-op now this is a poor decision for solo players the fact that you're going to need internet is wild just to even play this game because you know, you never know what people are going through or what their certain situation is, but internet is easy to come by. But then again, just in general, the fact that you need internet to even play this game is pretty wild to me. Hopefully in the future that could change that because they are going to get dragged for it. And I don't see no reason why they probably wouldn't get dragged for it because need the internet just to play the game solo is kind of wild but there is an upside to it you don't have to have a subscription to xbox one or playstation to play this game solo but the only downside of it you're going to need internet so if you have internet access and you don't have playstation plus or the membership for xbox then you pretty much can play this solo and you can be chilling if you have internet so it's pretty much how it goes down for that one so for some good news suicide squad will have a performance mode for consoles which is pretty much the standard for next gen games and it's pretty much no different here so i'm glad they at least announced it that it will have performance mode so that's pretty cool and the next thing that i will be talking about is pretty big which i already teased it a little bit but cross play will be in suicide squad yeah, so you can boy. play with people that are on playstation pc and xbox all together in one which is uh w i really feel like all multiplayer games when they come out should have cross play so it does not be limited on one console to play with people that are on that console you can just play with everyone that just opened up so many boundaries that you could really do with that so i'm glad they did that and post-launch content which is dlc will be free for suicide squad now yeah, i'm happy boy. that it is free but then again i really feel like i'm on that route where i'm not i'm fine with paying for a dlc but that could be just me uh you know i have really have no problem with it being free you know i don't gotta spend no money you know but i really feel like if they want to go free shoot let them go free go crazy they really have to find ways to really make in some revenue especially with this battle pass that they do have we just got to see what they do with that and speaking about the battle pass we got some information on it so for the battle pass they did state that it will be only outfits and emotes tied to it and it will have free and premium tiers which is understandable if you play games with battle passes you see that they have a free and premium tier that are added into these battle passes so if you want to go crazy with it go crazy but they did say it would not affect any gameplay and no loot boxes are in suicide squad so if you are a person that are afraid of loot boxes like me that is a pretty much good thing right there that it does not have them so that's nice but with this battle pass they really have to find ways to make this good because if this is going to be one of their ways to make some revenue they have to keep refreshing the battle pass and keep updating it so it can have people come back and possibly spend more money and probably get the battle pass so they can you know just get the things that come along with it so we just have to see what they do with that you know if they're going to give away content for free they got to find some ways to make some money and a battle pass can be a good way to make some money you just have to keep updating it and keeping it fresh so people could come back and spend the money on it but that's pretty much it when it comes to that let me know in the comments which one you seem like is your favorite so far that i've talked about if i had to pick i probably would choose the cross play in the post launch content is free even though i'm kind of indecisive on it being free which is good but then again i wouldn't mind paying for it but it is what it is so it's free at the end of the day but let me know which one is your favorite but that's pretty much it for today's video before we head out if you guys are not make sure to subscribe to the channel don't forget to know post notifications and make a video not to be notified and upload a video and most importantly make sure to hit that like button it's lejune here i'm gone peace